Hi all! Everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning everybody! This is going to be a short video with only two topics. One is animal cruelty and the other is the lawsuit that Harry lost that nobody seems to be talking about. Let's go! Let's talk for just a second about Harry's cruelty towards animals. We've all seen the following photo about how he injured the pony when he was playing polo. You can see it above. He actually stabbed the animal in the side. Now, accidents happen, but the big controversy occurred because after he stabbed the animal, he continued to play and wouldn't get off. And of course, we all know that Harry and his friends are avid animal hunters. There's the story about how he shot 15 wild boars. And of course, he flew out, if you read the article, on his private jet. More recently, this happened, which I found disturbing. First, you can see he gets down in the horse's face or a pony and the pony doesn't like it and tries to pull away from him. Then as the visit goes on, you can clearly see that he's irritating the horse. Look what he's doing here with his hands or pony. The poor pony is like trying to bite him to get away from him. I don't know. The whole thing just seemed really off to me. It didn't seem, I mean, look how irritated this poor animal is. And Harry just can't stand there and talk to the guy. Instead, he has to irritate this poor defenseless animal. The animal obviously doesn't like him. Let's not forget this beautiful animal that Harry decided he would go shoot and kill and take a prize photo with. I'm assuming at this point, Harry realized he needed to fix up his image just a little bit. So now he's decided to join the war on the poachers. He even went as far as to pay tribute to a British soldier who was killed during a counter poaching operation in Malawi. I think I'm saying that correctly. The British soldier who was killed, by the way, was actually killed by an elephant that he was trying to protect. Now, let's take a look at the lawsuit and how it all ties into the animal rescue. And in an effort to clean up his image, sometimes the press doesn't report things the way he would like them to be reported. So one of the photos that was in this lawsuit that Harry filed against the Mail on Sunday was that the newspaper claimed that the photos he took did not highlight the fact that the animals were sedated and tethered. These were photos that were posted to the Sussex's Instagram account to highlight Earth Date. And the newspaper article was headlined, Drugged and Tethered, What Harry Didn't Tell You About Those Awe-Inspiring Wildlife Pictures. Because in the article, Harry failed to mention that all three of the animals had been tranquilized, the elephant was tethered, as they were being relocated, there was a rope around the back legs that was not visible, visible because of the way the picture had been cropped. Now, these are beautiful photos, but they do give the impression that these are just wild animals in their natural habitat. Here are the two pictures for you to look at so you can see the difference. He claimed it was Instagram rather than the fact that it was deliberately edited out. Um, actually, Harry lost that lawsuit. So I find it interesting that he, this is one of his lawsuits that he filed in 2019 and in January of 2020, he lost. But notice you didn't hear anything about it. As for Harry, he's in such a mess, but I do think he's not that great to animals. I'm surprised he's good with the rescue dogs because it just seems like he doesn't have a lot of respect for domesticated animals. And now it's time for an update on Finn, the security dog. I want to let you guys know that he's doing very well. Again, the other day when I posted, we had had several accidents in the house. Um, the growling incident, I'm going to say, was totally my fault. He was in his crate, that's his area, and I reached in to try to put his harness on because I wanted to take him for a walk. And after I got the harness on, which he really didn't want it on, that was when he growled at me. So I'm going to take responsibility for that uh, incident and uh, respect his space. So I really want to hear your comments on this one about the fact that you never heard about the lawsuit after he lost, how it quickly the story was buried. And I also want to hear from you guys about what you think about the poaching and the way he's changed his attitude on it. And yes, that is Finn playing at my feet while I'm taping. Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to email me. I read every email, even if you don't get a response. They are being read. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And please don't forget the coffee fund. Um, I did refill my coffee the other day. So the, the account is almost empty. I'm waiting for it to refill before we can do something else, either at the animal shelter or with the fire department or at the hospital. 
I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all your support and helping me grow my channel. And as always, have a great day.